January 8, 2021 it is. Uh, welcome to a video I have titled Ratish Novo Mesto. Uh, Ratish Novo Mesto, this is an area, a place. Political massacre in independent Slovenia after 1995. Uh, this is a part two. In this video, if you are a police officer, if you are a prosecutor, state prosecutor, if you are a human rights advocate, whatever you are, you can just write it down. In addition to all other proofs I have submitted about MK Ultra, I have deliberately separated part one uh, as some sort of proof or something like this. It's more about who did all this. Um, so I reserve to publish more about who did all this in the last part of this uh, series about a Ratish place. There are other places I will come up with, but this one exclusively is about the location around Novo Mesto, it's called Ratish. In this video you can take a pen and you can note down immediately. I have recognized a gentleman but this video is straightforward. This is the video about this thing here. This is about a car that was parked. This car was parked on, uh, well, I have encountered one on December the 10th of 2020. And then as I will return back, I would meet a gentleman who I believe parked one there. Uh, and we met on December the 27th of 2020. And he just happens to be from this place here from called, it's called Ratish. This is uh, more or less this area here see this is not a secret this is nothing that Vladimir Putin alone uh, even less Vucic would not know about they anticipated it's gonna come really really handy is this pertaining to more than just the two it's pertaining more than just to the two uh, and they believe that this way they would even save Donald Trump's presidency, one of the things, because it would have uh, heavy implications, it will have a heavy implications for some other people as well. You see, I was told that in MK Ultra, you're not going to be able to be either on one side or the other. You're not going to be able to take the side, uh, actually you're not going to be able to be on both sides, that's on the west or in the east, you're going to have to pick the side. This is what Americans have insisted me, this is what British insisted me on. That's why I take all this stuff with a great, great reserve. Because what you are about to learn in a final chapter about this place, about the Ratish, is going to blow your mind just a little bit. That's that final one, that's the most decisive one. It explains about this killings more than anything else here. It explains about Vucic, it explains about Alexander Vucic. This is now a Serbian president here uh, in Belgrade. And of course, I know you know about the Vladimir Putin. These are the people who, make no mistakes, were behind these killings. I did talk a lot about killings in Czech Republic. N close to nothing about what took place in Poland. I did something a little bit. But believe me, that was still close to nothing. But now it's time for me to concentrate here in the city of the Novo Mesto. Now this got more to do, and I'm talking about the Czech Republic of Poland. It's got eventually, I realized, more to do with Vladimir Putin through the Andrzej Duda, through Kaczynski, through Morawiecki, through Andrzej Babic than what I initially thought it would be the case. I will explain to you all this in the last part of this episode. 
and trust me, I will not take no sides. Uh, I will act simply in the best interest of the country that was deprived of, uh, of its sovereignty from 1995 once I departed to United States of America to this place here, to, uh, to Miami, briefly. And in this video, the only thing I do is I concentrate on proofs. This is part two. Uh, the gentleman you are about to hear lost his father first and then his mother. Um, it's like this that he wasn't sure where to hate me and this was, trust me, his first uh, perception about me. He, uh, he was completely confused. He heard about me. He lost his parents when he was a teenager. His father far earlier than a mom, not so far. I think it was about five years in between when he lost both of them. And he was not sure what to do with me. He just knew that something so horrific goes on. But then again, just like my cousin here from this city here in Maribor, in this city here in Maribor, uh, whose father got killed, that was my cousin, uh, he also was completely confused. Actually, he's still confused about it all. He's still unsure about what's going on. And right now, he is, he really does not have to be, he is actually even somewhere in Austria, somewhere here in Graz. He told me he would be. Maybe he's afraid. Maybe so. He does really, really, really not need to be afraid. Um, I, uh, I'm not a retaliative person. I know what it means to lose father, mother. I did not. I easily could. They tried to murder me on more than just one occasion. What you are about to hear on other videos, like the stuff my cousin supposedly have gone through in Maribor, in the city of the Maribor, uh, he died, he was poisoned, he got some kind of intestine, they gave it to him something to drink. There was a lot of people that uh, they dissolved some kind of pills inside of the coffee and stuff like that, and they would give it this later on also in the food, they would also give this inside of the food. So y you don't know where you got that kind of stuff. Um, it was just uh, kill people, simple as this. I got this kind of stuff myself. They would, whenever they would come here to Novo Mesto, they would take me to a hospital and they would push me this down. I don't know what they were doing, checking um, if I have anything like this that would appear to me and this and that. One time, in the Novo Mesto, I was on di diarrhea for no less than two years, okay? And I was told there was such thing that did happen. I don't know if the guy who did this, I think they did find out it's still around, and I was actually told even that he's not. I don't know. Maybe he is, maybe he is not. Um, but this gentleman first, Sometimes in 2013, 2012, maybe even, maybe in 2012, when he was a teenager and he find out about this, he was just, he didn't know how to react to all this. He was just, uh, I don't blame him absolutely for anything. I wish I could help. Um, he is worth of admiring, I'm going to put it this way is a young man, this is a 20 years old man, like I said, he lost mom, dad, and he came to the rescue, he, this vehicle here, I believe this vehicle was from him, and you're going to hear me saying, it's, I'm going to ask him if he knows whose car is this from, 
and he's gonna say no the kid does not and this and that and tra la la and he asked me if I know and I tell this vehicle is from a mechanic from Aratish. Aratish is where he is originally from and by profession he is a mechanic so I think this is as close as it gets right so you're just gonna write on that kind of credit and then the next thing you're going to credit me for is going to be this one here. Uh, although he is here from Ratesh, he was in the school here at this place. Oh, he kept with me all the time. Um, once he started to go to the Sednia Shola, Zrasan and Technician Smeritve, Oh my god. In Novo Mesto. Okay, let's just put it this way. There was a police officer who was involved in this case from the day one, from 1995. He became, I don't know, a lieutenant. I don't know what it was. He retired probably. I think he did sometimes in 2015, maybe. Because... He lost mom and dad, and this is a young kid. This one is only 20 years old. I told you, many, many, many young kids were involved in this stuff. Police officer came to the rescue to him, and during the last two, perhaps, years, he visited this school here in Novo Mesto. Um, what he would do is eventually he would go and provide one with this is the school I am talking about that's what I was trying to find this is a Shorsky Center this is where he was became certified as a mechanic a car repairman mechanic uh, he wanted to help him out because this Aratish still is really really far from Novo Mesto for the young kid like this and also expensive and everything time consuming and so on he went ahead and helped him out um, and got him a place here in this place here in it's called Aragawa and you're gonna see like like this if I zoom myself let's see if I see this if I manage to somehow There is not much. Yeah. Maybe here I get lucky enough to demonstrate to you. Not really. Ah, uh, this is the way you're not supposed to travel these days. He got him a place to stay. These are like. I, it will not it will not allow this stuff here it will not allow me to to go through here I don't know this is pretty damn let's see this here wow okay now that's something isn't it you can't go through here either okay but there are like like this can we make it here so I just want to give you an idea it's there these are not high rises but are like apartment buildings uh, and they are far taller than this here and up on a high floor he got him a place um, so that he could have less time would spend to commute to the school to the Shorsky Center. So this was this police officer. And later on also once he got a job, you know, he mentions, he reminds me, I know this because this kid, according to him alone, that I became his hero somehow. According to him alone that when he learned about what they were doing with me, 
Um, it was just that uh, this is the area I am talking about. Um, he figured out that uh, if ever any truth about his mom and dad is going to come out, it's going to come through me. He changed his mind about about me alone and I know I did a lot of stupidities and all kinds of stuff but the situation was just this is just the way it is it's just how the situation is and so he would take me to this place then he would also take me to this place here once he was doing a practical work a uh, practical assignment of his education uh, he was also doing one here uh, there is this place here Sorry, but Novel Mesta is a really interesting one. It is. Right here next to Mercur, um, there is a mechanic shop and this and that. And they did something to remind me uh, and so that I would recognize him. He wanted me to recognize him, just he was into this matter. He wanted to help me out. And basically, this is how I get to meet him, right? So, the police officer was retired sometimes, I think, in 2015. Sure, in 2017, but I think already in 2015. This was the man who was from the day one in this thing. This is the man who explained him well about this case. Because from the beginning, there was just... Uh, there was just like a lot of anger, frustration. Uh, you don't want to hear about the, the stuff I'm about to tell you next, the stuff he is about to learn about all this stuff. I mean, you don't know anything about from media, from the news outlets about what goes on. You have no idea about what goes on. Do you? What exactly do you learn from the news media? Not much at all. The whole history, everything seems to be, is becoming falsified. Like I said, there are other people that are just as guilty, perhaps even more, for this thing to go on. And so, what you want to write down is to credit me with, I'm asking for the credit, I have recognized him, I have proven you that, I, the police officer, this is another thing. Absolutely, uh, and beyond belief. Also, I have pointed out where in the past he, how he got his certification as a mechanic here in uh, Novo Mesto. And maybe you get to accredit me with something even more uh, as we go on about it. So let's go to the audio recording. Let's go to the facts. The audio recording is a little bit loud. It is a little bit loud, this audio recording. But I'm going to take it for you. You may want to lower your audio speakers, uh, whatever it is that you're using, as long as you hear me. Uh, now, if you have a problem with what I say at the end of this video, I will also, one more time, do a playback of the audio, the original audio, so you can get that translated yourself. Um, so that you're not going to be suspicious about any of this. So this, this gentleman appeared two weeks after I have found this vehicle parked on this very location here. Uh, maybe interesting about this stuff, there were police officers and uh, police officers involved in it. This here is a grave from my teacher who was murdered, poisoned, literally inside of this house by the Putin is deputy. Uh, I have a lot to tell about it, but this does not concern now so much the investigators, right? You want the proofs, actual proofs about the stuff I'm talking is real and that's what you get here. Uh, now, if you want other stuff, you're going to ask, and I'm going to give you other stuff, explanation about how all this stuff happened. 
but this is a part two of what I already have explained is Ratish Novominister Political Massacre in Independent Slovenia after 1995. From December 10, when I found this car, two weeks later, I meet him. A gentleman who was a teacher of my math, physics, from the grammar school and all the way to the high school, he helped me out a lot, he is buried in Schmichel. It's a graveyard, it's called Schmichel. This is his grave. You can see here the year 2009. He was poisoned sometimes in 2002. They gave him a coffee, he served him a coffee. In fact, I had to literally observe with my eyes. I had to, I was forced literally to observe with my eyes what exactly he did and how. That's why I explained about the coffee, how he did this stuff. Then he would go inside of the living room and literally observe the victim drink the shit from the window, literally. Go out and hope eventually that somebody else is not going to drink that poisonous coffee. Uh, he handed one. Now you have seen some other stuff too from a video in part one and it just happens to be this part here this here either demo you know what this is? What you have seen, me and my mom paid a visit to our graveyard in Schmihel, and this here is what I was told is going to be the case. They're going to put a no like this to me um, to remind me not to go to even look at this thing here do not go to even think about talking anything like this they have blackmailed me most severely people from Ljubljana Borut Pahor his people did dared me to even think about the thing to even think about going into a political stuff talking about the stuff I will be I will spend quite some time talking about you understand? He also is from Aratish. He is from the same location like this gentleman. And he is from the same location as the other gentleman you're going to hear. Ha! Ah, this, you're going to hear, it's going to be one massacre. That's why I call it massacre, because you're going to hear about a load of people who were involved in my life that or spend life around me when I was brought to Slovenia that were massacred, that were murdered. And you will understand what the massacre is once I'm going to start talking to you about Slovenia. I already talked to you about Bohemian in Czech Republic. I talked to you already about Poland something. Not even the whole thing. But now I'm going to talk about here, about Slovenia. So don't take any sides yet. Um, even if it's obvious who did this, but there is some other stuff that's just as equal or perhaps even more important. And it's stuff that I delayed and I will still delay. You're going to hear me coming up in within the next few following videos. Let's go to the audio recording and we're going to go from here. So this is a part two. Tu znao sam da snika tega auta. Hello, do you know a gentleman, do you know the owner of this vehicle? He said, no, I don't know. He says this vehicle, 
His brother told him I have seen one here but does not know who this vehicle is. <laughs> Os nossos não tem que pegar a outra. Na zona me abra treco de onde que partiram o poste. Para ver na bolsa que acho que se ganha nicolau bernese era para ter data. Né, ro. Okay. He said his brother told him that the car is here in the road that he does not know who the owner is. And he says that probably Roma people did this, whatever. And I said, no, 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 it's not Roma people, no, no, no. He said, um, brother told him it's parked in the side of the forest, and um, it's probably Roma people who tipped one over on the roof uh, to, to get a hold of the catalytic converter. Catalytic converter is something, the only thing actually that worked on, well, yeah, on the vehicle which I have purchased in Poland, basically, because I purchased a new one. Uh, other than that, the catalytic converter was even stolen from that vehicle and in a such state sold to me. Um, illegal criminal, but that did not disturb uh, Polish police in any way. And for things to get even better, I was brainwashed to buy this ve that vehicle. I bought, like we say, Machko Jatru, cat in the back, like we say in Slovenian language, just on, like on a trust, basically. Uh, this is basically how that happened, right? Is was not taking automobile. You send the Israelis and the honey. I think I tell him the owner of this vehicle is a mechanic from Ratish. Can you say, yeah? Uh, he is laughing and he is saying <laughs> the car is not so rusty at all, he says. Uh, at, at that point in time, it's like this. The kid told me about this car, uh, that I'm going to have a car like this. He knew about how I'm going to go to the Poland to the Czech Republic and so on. He knew about it. Who, who did not know about the Škoda I have purchased in Poland? That Škoda literally drove from Poland to Slovenia. That Škoda was actually parked in front of the Slovenian parliament. Slovenian politicians drove with that Škoda. Borat Pahor just, as I told you, happened to be one of the people who drove that Škoda Felicia. Um, now, when you come back from Poland, if you're ever going to make it, I made it, so he is keeping his word. Now we met. And so he said, you're going to be lucky <laughs> if you're going to be driving the car like this. Not even the car like this, you're going to be able to afford yourself. And he had a, a car like this, this car. Uh, the car was... Uh, not so bad in this and that, but you would tell me something like this, maybe he was entertained by that kind of stuff. Maybe, you know, a young man. I like him. I like I like him a lot. This young man is just a young man. You know, I just happen to like young people. Young people are good crazy, let's say. You know. And so He said, you're gonna, you, you will want to have a car like this, but you will not have one. And, you know, he got me, they had me. They helped him have me dropped up. And he would dance around this car uh, about how good this car is and this and that. Old car. This is an old as hell car. But still, it's really, it's not bad. You could still drive with that car. Um, but okay, let's go on. He is a little bit sarcastic, says uh, humorous. He says he reminds me. He's not even so rusty. Oh, he was talking about all that stuff during MK Ultra. Some, uh, I tell him, well, if that 
that now it's not worth it anything. It's finished now. I tell him, too bad, I said. And he's like, uh huh. Tony and I see some videos, so. They got all. Catalyzator is so dull. Catalytic converter is gone. Catalyzator is so dull. He says, yeah, I see, yeah. <laughs> Make it hard to prevail at the auto. I tell him something is that this car wanted to tell. At the auto. <laughs> okay, so we're both laughing. <laughs> He says, but it's also damn and bad. He said, it's also too damn and bad that the car is uh, just left like this. No? It's also bad. No? It's a car like that. I don't know. Maybe he wanted to give me one. I'm thinking right now, maybe I should have done something about it, and I didn't. More than that. More than that. More than the Segus Roy. The Segus Roy. I said, maybe, maybe, you know, I told him, maybe it's not. Uh, the car did accomplish its uh, purpose. He says, yeah, but I don't know who took him here to this forest, who left him here. I tell him this, I don't care, I said this was, this was, these were good cars, these cars had a good engines, they, they could run forever, it matters not even if they had a little rust. He says yeah, the point is they just wanted to get the catalytic converter. Now I know that he loved this car, no matter what, he loved that car. I don't know why, but maybe this was his first car, this is what I think it was. Um... Yeah. Man, a force can to tell a boom if he's a big up as a meek. He said a month and a half ago, his brother told him he saw this car inside of the forest uh, when he was there back and forth. It was the car was still on the on a, on a tires and the wheels, uh, completely normal. And I saw one too. I saw that's why I said in a beginning video, uh, in the in the first video, in a part one, that I saw this car parked on this spot too. Now December the 10th, when I came, I did not even dream it would be possible, something like this. I want to thank very much this gentleman that basically gave a proof about knowing what's going to happen to me and in the Czech Republic, what they're going to do, how they're going to, what they're going to, not only about Poland, how they're going to steal a catalytic converter, sell me a car without the catalytic converter. It was all program MK Ultra. It's like you write a book and you compel through starvation, through deprivation, through the forced joblessness, through the psychiatry, through the you know, stuff like this, <laughs> you compel one to go from one dot to another. And there is no escape. <laughs> Actually when the whole city, it's the stuff that I was so angry about. I was so angry before I would even go inside of the Gdansk hostel. I would not want to go because I was angry. I was so angry that I was looking for a place that basically equals to wasting time with broken spine around uh, in a cold winter and stuff and could not find me a place just so you would go from one dot to another as you would come to the another dot and you would recognize one i said to myself i will never ever go to another dot another location where they tortured me and so on and um, i had no choice by the way that location was 
back to the Ukrainian people and I'm looking forward to release the videos the audios about Ukraine too um, packed with them and they would give their accounts they would give not their accounts but I got a lot from that so still I have not got to that I have so many proofs about this MK Ultra that too many overwhelming um, it's turned into a heavy traffic because there are different sites involved in it and it's one side that does not want the other one to cut in front of it and so on and so forth so he knew exactly about how the car is going to be sold to me what kind of car of course and even what they're going to do to the car in a Czech Republic trust me it was not because of my videos only because he would know he knew where the car is going to be and this and that it was more than that plus that this was also a political stunt as I explained in a video in a part number one Good evening. Uh, I don't know. It came from. Probably, yeah, it is. Probably came from all. The last player is. We are looking at a car, evaluating how. If it's damaged with the rust. Right now, when I'm thinking about it. Right now, when I'm thinking about it. And I want to say this to my little brother. Either this car is from him or his brother, I don't know. I don't know how he did this stuff, doesn't matter. Um, I am really, really sorry I did not go and get this car, because now it's really destroyed. I was pretty damn sure that this car is going to stay uh, maybe day two or something like this, then it will be gone. I was pretty damn sure that it would be dangerous for me to get this car because it's someone's car and that someone uh, could report this is a missing vehicle and this and that but if you did what told me okay I see now maybe if I would have done this earlier or something like this maybe maybe this car went to hell because of me maybe I did already hear bad deed but trust me I was thinking about creating this video every day and I postponed one a little bit because of the US elections and you have seen yourself what those came to. I otherwise definitely would go for it and pull this car just because of you, just because of what you did and I would drive this car just because of what you did because I consider this to be something very special for me that you would go and do something like this like you promised uh, I do consider this to be like very special just because you did this and because your mom and dad I'm going to talk about today were involved in this stuff I will also claim credit for that that I recognized I would definitely go and drive this car definitely it's actually a nice driving vehicle. I tell him I like Renault cars. I like. I don't know. I'll just give you the super auto. So it's me. This is a great car uh, in all times, I tell him. It's a super auto, so it's coming. Yeah, and the Hanik is in the air. And the Hanik is in the air, you can just put it in the air. He says, I have never seen this car before, that's why I don't know. Uh, he said he's gonna de do this somehow, some way, either through him or through somebody else, and this and that. Maybe, probably, I would say through his brother, something in that sense. <laughs> He already figured out 
I'm saying this because he already figured out back then that police eventually is gonna find out. So maybe whatever it is, I'm gonna come and help or whatever it is, man. Uh, to get this done, whatever it is. I really, really appreciate it. He spoke to me about mechanic. Um, that's actually a repairman body shop guy retired man who also passed away in 2018 he tells me oh you have to go for coin is they yeah cool oh then the yeah 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 the project coin is they the sport yeah i don't know what um, evidently the gentleman passed away sometimes when I left to Poland, something like that. Really, really bad news. He knew about all this stuff. Who doesn't? I mean, you know. The thing about all this is that uh, tremendously, enormously a lot of knew about people knew about this, uh, but the fear how can i tell you to get even close to me for some people was already overwhelming it was an overwhelming fear for the people that would lose lose their parent like i demonstrated you a grave of this gentleman here he was to me like a father his son had a huge 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 problem he was completely confused. He grew up with me, basically. He is a younger kid. Younger, much younger than myself. But they would become like a family friends. You know, they would come here for a visit to us and we would gather together, associate with one another. And he just, the pain of him losing father, that emotional pain was just so tearing him apart, even if, even if he knew that I was a completely, completely helpless. And maybe that's maybe what angered him too, because I acted out of my frustrations, out of my issues, in a way I did, and oftentimes got other people even in, in trouble that would want to help, he wanted to help. He was wanted to help, but he started to fear um, that at one point in time, he told me, don't don't come here no more and this and that. Don't come here. Don't bring him. Not that I wouldn't come here no more. But he told others, don't bring him here anymore. I don't want to see him. And he told me, don't ever come here anymore uh, for a visit and this and that. But his sister, his sister did not give up on me. Um, I don't think I was really appealing with the uh, amount of weight I had. Um, but that uh, at least somebody in the world claimed it would date me, which um, she is for one thing very pretty and um, gave me a lot of confidence during MK Ultra. I was somehow not completely, completely alone in this world when they start to take me from MK Ultra dot to dot to dot to dot to again to meet these people to see and this and that. This, this was like a mercy stuff. It was other ladies too. But I'm just trying to give you an idea what what this was, what what kind of uh, tensions, tensions, what exactly I was involved in. Because you, you folks when I started with this stuff here, you you could possibly not think anything like this exists in this world. That something like this is even possible. Like I said, Vucic, Putin both knew this thing is going to come out and they just... At one point they were completely feared. They feared about this stuff. Then they figured out that this thing is going to come out one way or the other. So as well as mine, this is just turn this into their own, so they would profit from within. 
into their profit. And there were politicians here in Slovenia who attempted anticipated to do this. So I would, as much as I would love to drive this car, I'm telling you, I would love to drive this car more than any other car. I am so sorry that I'm not going to be able to drive your car. Because I know probably this would meant to you a lot. You mentioned me back then that a feature, an option, that something like this could be. But I guess now I realize that this was conditioned with timing-wise. Well, I wish. I am really, really sad about this because I would go. It's, it means to me a lot, sentimentally, something like that. And so, damn it, this was a, I think, a really good catch, and I missed one. I would fix this car, and I would drive one just for you, man. So, let's continue with this stuff. So, this is how old mechanic he would fix cars, um, also to my parents. He was also from Ratish. He died apparently two years ago. Died apparently two years ago. And I'm gonna say God knows. And this is something still we might have to find out. This was an older person. This was an older person. Um, I'm not saying anything about it. I'm not saying I'm not I'm not I'm not saying anything. But I know there is a lot I don't know about. And it's very difficult, like I said, this is very, very difficult to get from the people. There are people that commemorate their parents, their grandparents, and they will come out and they will do like something like this gentleman did. And there are people that just feel that uh, it's better to avoid uh, trouble and this and that and tra la la la. Um, whichever way. It's fine with me, I'm gonna say. But something like this I definitely appreciate. Yeah. I need this done. I need this done. So I, so I study. I am going to go forward a little fast forward. Um, the thing about it is that I don't have a choice because it's 25 minutes and it does not last. Stuff that I want to say to you does not last that much. I need to get to his mom and father issue so you can hear about that. I identified both of them too. So that's the stuff. They were involved in this MK Ultra case. Uh, the first one who was involved in this was his mother. Believe it or not, in 95, in 96, she would come here to this place here. As they would bring me from United States of America here to this place. They would go for a walk and she would come my father would go for a fishing with his friends here to this area here and there were these politicians and this and that and the people would walk this saratish is very nearby and they would stop by um and so she was always interested in what's going on with me this was just one according to my memory beauty this was just like a really, really beautiful woman. Uh, really, really beautiful woman. And if it was not in 95 and 96, she started to date instead a guy, a young man, a really good looking young man. Uh, that That's how I evaluated him during MK Ultra. Uh, this was just, uh, I'm gonna say like a strong guy, strong man, uh, young man. Uh, when I saw him like that, I, I almost, I wasn't sure whether, what to think about him. But the thing about him is he liked me. This is the thing about him. He always liked me. And I think his father was an auto mechanic too. I think this is what he was. 
and so if you two have fallen in love with one another I think I speculate either in 96 but definitely 97 already for sure this is basically my account I can give because later on they would start to appear together whenever we would come they would become like a couple I think this is about his mom and dad that's what I can tell you father was a really good looking man and mom was also a really really good looking man mom had some kind of uh, medical condition since she was young I'm gonna put it this way she should have not even stated anything like this okay father had absolutely no medical condition whatsoever now they I have no idea with what they could have well blame him they did blame him for something really bad but at this point in time I will not say anything I could have gone and ask people about it but I never do stuff like this what this man was blamed for I do not know this man however was angry at what went on and he would not agree with basically what went on he did not agree that they can do the stuff like this and he said one day if you're gonna make it when you're gonna make it or whatever it is it was stuff that happened also to other people I am gonna tell the whole thing he completely completely disregarded politicians and it was tensions in this place in this ratish here I'm gonna tell you that you could not believe what kind of tensions these tensions were the people eventually shoot one another you're gonna hear the stuff in another video uh, they would promise a person that they're gonna whack him and this and that and they did um, because he was shamed because he was wrongfully accused he would go and hang himself a gentleman tells me 20 year old gentleman I'm talking to he hanged himself he took his life and I believe that happened sometimes in I think just after I finished this 2006 so we probably talking about sometimes in 2007 something like that in my opinion or through you're gonna hear me saying like in 2003 whatever no in 2007 something like that um, and his mom I am not gonna say anything I have too much respect for him uh, but there was some politician something that pushed nose in it she had a medical condition she suffered throughout her entire life worsened to the point she would die sometimes I believe in 2012 so that's about eight years ago so this is the proper sequence uh, something that I already have recorded immediately afterwards but when you meet people like this it doesn't come to you immediately you have to imagine what kind of brain you have to have to actually sort these sequences in a proper order because every one of these people is a book for itself if you understand me when I was exposed to MK Ultra when they were taking me to so many people to so many different countries I possibly when I was drugged up I possibly could possibly not believe that I will ever get any of this shit that first of all I wanted to avoid this stuff at all costs I would not want to get into but I was left with absolutely no choice no choice I was left with the choice basically to die by the lie or live up to the truth and that's what they told me the case is gonna be I did manage to sequence recognize people identify people involved in MK Ultra and people would come uh, and demonstrate their support their will 
Um, basically, they help the way I see it. For the politicians, if you ask me, I was nothing more than necessary evil. I think the people, though, knew that I got less than nothing to do with it. People knew that this was nothing other than a political game. Let's just continue. I'm going to really fast forward uh, so that I can get quickly as I possibly can to to the part that I mentioned. Ampak ne znao to zek, 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 razumeš, se ali, ne, oni se znao narediti avto, ne, strički, tako? To je samo da pred kamero pokaže. Bullshit, pred kamero, na hitro neki hop hop. To, tle pred nas se strički, ki pa ni več, če da li je manj, kakšen striček, če še kje. Ti za ti je pa avto naredil, To sem? Nimo nič prijavljeno. Kako? Zajebal se ga nazad, ne? Nekaj na inšpekciji? Nej. Če ga zajebal, ej. Zajebal se ga, ej. Pa ga pa ne bilo izpite en teden. Fak, ej. Vsem očelo zdel, vsem, ne? Nekaj skupil sem. Se tako se reka. Ne. Okay, so this, he is warning you about something else here, unfortunately. He is saying like this. Kako? Zajebal se ga nazad, ne? He is saying to me like this, about death of this old mechanic, this body shop repairman from Aratoš. Marsikom. He had a problem because his uh, activity, his business was not reported. He did not have reported. He did not report his. Uh, he didn't have a tax tax ID he, or, of his business. Ah. Uh, and he said that's basically what ruined me. He said to me, I said, nah, really? He said, yes, yes. So he said they, they screw him up. He said the inspectors visited him. Nah. He said, then afterwards, he went and he drank. And when he was returning back, the police officers stopped him right in front of his house. Okay, so this is again crazy, crazy kind of coincidence. So this is yet another person who was involved in this. And... He got a visit from inspector because he did not report his business. He worked unreportedly as a body shop repairman at home. He got drunk, maybe, I don't know. He drank. He didn't say he was drunk. He went and drank, consumed alcohol, and probably a million times before anyways. Police stopped him right in front of his home. Okay, right in front of his home. I think he said they took the license, driving license away from him and he stayed inside of the house for an entire week. They would not see him coming out of the house the entire week. 
What exactly happened? I do not know. Fuck yeah. It was weird to the people that he's not coming out of the house for the entire week. Next. So they went inside and they found him dead. At least this is what they said. It's what the young man tells me. So this literally you don't know what's happening with the people here. You see the people involved in this stuff. Um, I'm going to put it this way. In 2018 the chances for me drastically it were improved so much that it was completely impossible to stop this case because of especially because of what also happened in a Budapest where I met niece of Benjamin Netanyahu literally um, but in 2018 when I headed to Poland I had more proofs about MK Ultra under my sleeve so during the course of this proof gathering I saw quite a few people disappear Ma ani mogu da javnosti prijavati za tebe, veš, kaj on je tuk se ne delo, veš, tu ben striček, vse veš. Zame osebno taki pizdari, kakor je ta država, kakor je Slovirin, kako tu je. Lej, vinogradniki pizda še trt ne gojijo, veš, da je raj kupujo vino tam na tisni koču mu pokrijem. Avstrijsko mleko je zice nekaj od mleko. Nikda ni bilo, pa tudi ni res. Plače so trikrat, štirkrat više. Ko spoh ne veš, ko ga je tam noti. Naj tvorih ta korac, naj dela, naj ima kruh. Naj ima nekaj vesele. Da ima nekaj, razumeš, ko pa da razumeš, da je avto, ne vem. Drug mehanik nam da. Ko se se spolnil in ti nekaj. Škoda, res, škoda. Ne, tu je en drug mehanik, nam da. Tu sem se spolnil, tu je nekaj majši tak. Tu je en gauner tak majši, šverci. Denar stran neče tako da ni res. Popravit povedem. Žalostno je. Škoda, res, škoda. Yeah, there is another mechanic. I think he asked me uh, who's, who's, whose car, whose mechanic would that then be from, from Ratish. And I tell him, no, 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 that's like a, a, like a young, young man. I tell him, this is a young handler, a car handler, uh, a hooligan, basically, I tell him. It's a different thing. That's not this old man, that this car would be from him. No, 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 I tell him. I can see Spolny and see Nicky Marshy talk. See and Downer talk Marshy. Schwarzen. Meister. I am laughing and I said, this is like a smuggler. I said, uh, he's a maestro uh, car dealer. Meister. He's supposed to try an old dog. He says maybe this is uh, some other one down there that uh, does some kind of business. I don't know what he's talking about right now. Res? Vaja. No, no, no. This is this what he's talking about is like a big. Uh, I'm not gonna say like a truck park with a lot of trucks and stuff like this. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, man's fuck. He says, I have no idea who otherwise could possibly be that this car would belong to. Man's fuck. Yeah. Ne, se je tole v zemi, jaz sem mu vin, številko. Pogledaj v računalnih, da ga je zadnji mel in pa tiste tiste odgovarja za te stvari, tudi vse, kar je. 
tell him they just take the VIN number, they, they, they put this inside of the computer, see who owned vehicle last, and you're the one who is then responsible for the vehicle. That's all there is to it. I'm more VIN, in part is that this could go out as it is to our previous secretary. Which is the secretary of the story. That's all it is. You will have a parker and a host to travel to Tala Auto. The Zanian brought the Zanian to 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 the Ker jaz sem videl, ker sem bil tale, ja, pa verjetno je bilo. So they probably did carpool or something like this to bring the car here. Not really, because I saw that you were able to see that light still was blinking. The car battery was good, everything was still good with the car. The car was actually in a good shape. Ker sem videl, ja, tukaj je že parkiran pol, tam 18, ne, 17 dni, ne, bo ne so 27. Je mu vse akumulator lučka notež migala, vse je bil, se pravi, da nisem po mojem, so ga tukaj pripelali. Noter je bil tu čist, mislim. Na pamet, če si ti je, ti si jaz, ti si, ti si jaz, 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 ne vem, no. Ej, he says like this, he says. Probam je prijet na pamet, če si ti je, ti si jaz. I say to him, I am trying, trying to figure out where you are coming from. I'm trying to figure out where you're coming from. I already see Aragos Kabloki. Uh, I see that Atish. I see this thing, so I'm not sure where I would sort him, either into Ratish or Aragoska. I am trying to figure out. I know about the Ratish because he had me inside of the house. He demonstrated to me his house. Um, about his house, there is something really, really specific, I'm not going to even say, but I remember, I remembered also Ragoska. Ragoska I had in my mind in this, in this apartment, maybe this was the apartment from the police officer, this was an empty apartment that he got him, okay, that was really a good one. No, no. He says, I am from the Ratish. He said, I am from the Ratish. This is Ratish? He says, if you by any coincidence knew about the Vrtačić. Po prijimku ne, tako pa verjetno. According to the last name, not, but otherwise, probably I did. Oh, yeah? Kako pravite to, če sem ga slučajno poznal? Kaj, mislim... He said, because, coincidentally, if you know him, because my mom and dad are both gone. But my grandpa and grandma are still alive. Zakaj pa ona pokojna? She had a cancer, and I'm going to look into this here immediately. I don't know how you would say this thing. Uh, she never had a cancer, but it did turn into a cancer. Um,
salivary gland. You know, the salivary gland, this is the type of the cancer she died from. Okay? This is a type of cancer she died from. Oh, my sorry. My sorry. My sorry. This is a very, very near place I live. He also died. He said the village people judged him, they, they accused him of something wrongfully, and consequently he died. Committed a suicide. Yeah, say, we have some recruitment in Cubes or in Brisbane, but we have a shock at Rouge, but too mal to in the Rouge by it is. The possible Kirkash did the Rouge and to you some is Kirka. We still have an outfit. The court, the court, the court, yeah. Tvoja mama pa ti je bilo kdaj bilo to 2003 že. Ker tako mnoč gledaš, ti tako mnoč gledaš, jaz sem mislil, da si tam enik še tako mnoč, da prvo, ko sem te videl, si mi je tako 18 let skoraj zgledaš, tako si pa stari, 20. Ja, žal mi je, žal mi je za to. Ok, basically... Yeah, say, we have some recruitment in Cubes or in Brazil. I tell him I was also accused of something wrongfully, too. Recruitment in Cubes or in Brazil, and that way. And sentenced to something completely wrongfully. Je pač taka družba, tako malo čudna družba je res. I tell him it's a little bit strange society, but this is how it is. Ja, pa se te krkašti crovčen, pa jaz sem iz Krka. I tell him I'm from Krka. Tako, tako? Borut, ja. So, we greet each other, we handshake. I was deeply moved with his account about his mother and his father. I drove with a bicycle and I saw this today. Tvoja mama pa ti je bilo kdaj bilo to 2003 že. Ker tako mnoč gledaš, ti tako mnoč gledaš, jaz sem mislil, da si tam enik še tako mnoč, da prvo, ko sem te videl, si mi je tako... I said, with your mom, I said, 2003, I said, you look so young, you look so young, I said, and then he said something about 2003, I don't know what he said when, what he was back then, I said, I said, you look so young. Uh, the thing about it is that this is why I amplify this audio and I take the bullet right now for you so you can hear the whole thing. 
um, it's a little bit unpleasant but I had to do this to here the whole thing because he was very he kept low volume so I laughed left with no choice I apologize yeah I'll show me show me as okay I tell him I'm terribly terribly sorry about it I'm terribly terribly sorry about it Se prati si bil v prvom letniku paltu je he said to me earlier that he was in the first grade okay in 2003 so that's about 7 years backwards that's basically when he was like 13 years old not precisely not precisely so yeah but somewhere around he was not exactly in the first year no Polnisi pa pa si glih končovo, ne? Tu je pa tam 5 let nazaj, ne? 15. 2015. Ampak zbolela je pa veliko prej. Okay. Um he said I was wrong right now. I made a mistake. He says that and probably I was not wrong. I probably was not wrong, but I made a conclusion that she probably passed away sometimes in 2015, before 2015, and I'm still think I still think I am correct. Uh, I'm talking. I I stated for her for 2012 earlier, uh, but the disease she had, this problem, this health problem. I said this. He suggests me it would sound like. Uh, she passed away like in 2000 what I make the conclusion about will be like in 2015 but I, I insist I said but she had this medical condition already before far before I'm referring to earlier to this year 2003 I said she was she became ill already in 2003 so that's like at least 12 years earlier and he said no it was even earlier and said earlier uh, all in all, she had this medical condition, she had some kind of medical condition all her life, but certain parts of the body quit on her and then the whole thing worsened, she died. Whoa. In the hospital. get to hear the whole thing from A to Z. Uh, I'm going to repeat the whole audio to you. Ah, toy oče. Tu je bilo pa Tu je bilo pa tam leta 2006. Je bilo, ne? In five months, it was a lay upon her. I said, and your father died in year 2006. And I think he did confirm that. But I think it was not in 2006, but I think it was in 2007, to be completely exact. Because I know so, because I was told, you're not going to, he's not going to be. It's already like this. So they really, really step up. They step up, they ante the whole thing, so I would not meet his father, and his father would not meet. Basically, they were afraid of it. And I said, your mom was very beautiful. Your mom was very beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, I lost no less than two neighbors here. One was here, Frank Udoj. And then was another Frank right next door. Mohar. Two guys that 
I think they would, sooner than not, they would, they would help me out. Um, they were gone. They were gone in unbearable pain. Just as simple as this. They found different, and you're not talking about old people, something like that. You are talking about people in their 50s. Maybe something extra. Strong people. Grew up on a village, healthy life. Just, you're not talking about people consuming some kind of uh, bad quality food or anything like this. You're talking people that should live here for at least another 30 years. They had a life in front of them. There were people that resisted. There were people that were committed. It's those kind of people that were just preliminary uh, clean out from the process. Simple as this. Back then, when things like this were, I had the slender chances. I did not have no proofs about it. And as these proofs would go along, um, here and there I would see person that I would know from MK Ultra that they would clean them out, they would disappear. Now I was recognized by the people in Poland. People confirmed my accounts and so on. I am politically indisputably correct for this part of the world and have demonstrated and indicated that people who did this not only were politically completely corrupt, wrong about it, they lied about me as well. They turned me into something I had nothing to do with. If this people, if this was my situation back then, I'm saying this because if you will ever find yourself in my situation, you should never ever allow yourself what I did with myself, ever. Because when they turn into something, they can hide behind, use you literally to collect the money from the enemies, people that otherwise would not even smell them. Uh, you are in a lot, a lot of trouble. Such was my case. This stuff actually happened. It actually happened. This is how far this hatred went. This is a really beautiful woman from what I can recall. A small one, a small individual is always guilty of everything, I tell you. A crew. What should we have? That's the way it is. Just make an article to it. But then this card definitely accomplished its mission. Catalyzator is the he says, uh, the car is still good, the only thing that was gone was catalytic converter, he says. I don't know why the hell they did that. He says, I explain him, I should say remind him of what exactly happened in Poland. Uh, political stuff, so I would see and this and that, that's why. <laughs>
In the city, uh, he says, uh, especially they are stealing catalytic converters. So I'd never heard of any of that stuff. They would be stealing catalytic converters, but okay. Catalyzator. Catalyzator is cool. Because they also dust with the deep from the force from Anastar. The force is good. I tell him, you can get one really, really cheap. Uh, I don't know how much I said. Three, four hundred zloty, something like that. No, it's like a... Uh, 170 and then also the cost of work to get one on your vehicle um, it's really cheap compared to Slovenia but the problem is that catalytic converter did not pass emission tests and this and that but that doesn't matter this is basically what this audio is all about this is up to minute 1840 <laughs> Drugač pa dragi so pa tako, ni original, ne? Na obršlinu, ravenc. Ampak dobro, a. Tu mu še preživeli, tako naprej. Napravljim razumijel, ki sem bil na šihtet na obršlinu, ravence, saj si nekaj mehanič, saj si nekaj mehanič. A si mehanič, aha. He says, the most interesting to me was when I was at work here in Dršlin, and I, otherwise, I am a, a mechanic by profession, okay, so he states now, he tells now what he is by profession, he is a mechanic, so the point here is completely proven, I explained where this car is from, uh, he by profession is a mechanic, I have also explained that this car is from a young man, a handler, a maher, that can fix cars and do the stuff with them from Aratish, from... So I don't think I possibly could be more detailed than what I was. I explained about how he completed his school. That was the last two years, I think, of the high school that police officer got in this place here in on Ragoska. That basically means that I don't know. It was something like that. He was also up high in this apartment in this Ragoska. I can tell you that the police officer who was involved in this case from day one, I had no idea that he likes me so much. This would be a fan number two. I had quite a few fans at a police station. There was a lot of police officers that liked me, but because of the stuff I got myself into, political stuff, because of the political situation that developed out of this, these police officers could do possibly nothing. There was a police officer that loved me and became frustrated because of my behavior, because of my attitude, according to them. I didn't see it that way. I unfortunately still don't see it that way in absolutely, absolutely any way because this is a torture, plain and simple, and torture is illegal. This is illegal stuff. Whether you are a police officer or you're not a police officer, perform MKUltra on someone simply is illegal. It's a criminal stuff. It goes under hijacking, it goes under abduction, it goes into area of human trafficking. And none of this stuff is legal. It's just the way it is. Unfortunately, people did suffer. And them observing other people entangled in this issue, losing lives, families falling apart, they started to hate me. Their initial idea, I'm sure, just like idea of every police officer out there is to help but this stuff this issue of having an individual in front of you that is tortured in front of you and you're wearing a police uniform <laughs> which you should always stay impartial not to get involved in it but it's the kind of job the politician actually assigns to the chief of the police station and whether you like it or not <laughs> it's assigned to you when you are in your call. Like it or not, 
they were they they, they start taking side against me many of them later on realizing that some that it was not my fault or maybe they were all along against all this stuff um, the other day I realized quite contrasting issues when that attack uh, when police became involved in that attack uh, that took place against me on December the 21st of 2020 very very contrasting uh, stuff that loomed very contrasting I don't know what to make out of it to tell you the truth but I will make out of it um, there were police officers that were committed helping me out there was a police officer that were committed help me out I think that I think that all the police officers were committed to help me out now how much they were capable to help me out because the political situation has developed nothing at all nothing at all they could go out of their way somehow and try to help me out there was a police officer here who came here if you remember and I did play the audio to you in 2018 that he would um, in 2000 and excuse me 17 before I went to Belarus I think that he would come and warn me that there was a vehicle uh, like mine observed in uh, somewhere in around Krajska Gora and Gorenska and stuff like this they were using this vehicle they were using this vehicle the police uh, that it was something like this that was reported and stuff like this and he would come and ask I when you are drugged up let's put it this way you have no control over your life if they change a brand new tires which you, which you have purchased on the shop inside of the shop with completely old tires If they give you a cancer, there's nothing they can do, not do with you. Uh, you have absolutely no control over your life. It's one of the reasons why Donald Trump also sleeps separately from Melania Trump. Because of what he saw in this case. И мы на нашем паркинге с Амуром и вечер, по ночь на дело, украли телевизатор. Зутри придем на шиф, он там, звичь ему неясно, правда, уж легко бы куплиться, как он я, телевизатор с ним украли. Не было все под камерой, айде, и мы видели некие, на сам, пусть я не могу ничего направить. Не могу купить много телевизатора. И не все бы под камерой. Okay, he tells me about catalytic converter they did something inside of the shop and demonstrated me on a camera and that stuff happened already I estimate maybe in 2015 not even in 2017 now he's 20 three years back that he would his age would most likely that would be 17 and that would fit him like into a last year of high school but if he was so early that he said in 2003 that he was uh, in a, I probably made a mistake. No, I probably did not make a mistake. In the first grade, that was a grammar school. Uh, that means that It could be even in 2015 when they had me under MK Ultra, when he was probably in the last grade of maybe of the high school. I'm not sure whether in 2017 or 2015 they they he demonstrated me in this camera system about this.
card pair. Uh, now the problem with that stuff, there is a problem. He demonstrated to me more than once. Because I think that he is actually a friend of that Roma individual. Now, um, he talks about Roma, this and that. He is a friend of this Roma individual. And it was a Roma people. I already told you about a Czech Republic, about the Poland, what went on. They tried to help me out. It appears here in Novo Mesto they were trying to help me out too. And he knew this Roma individual and the other guy knew this Roma individual and they wanted me to observe this on a camera inside of the shop. I don't know, was it this in 2015 or 2017? He's like, uh, reminded me of that stuff. He's now describing about how in front of their shop somebody stole the catalytic converter. Okay, that's fine. Vidaš, zatim pa je sajna stvar, zatim pa je sajna stvar razložio, lej. Zatim pa je sajna stvar. Zdaj se moraš pa vprašati, zakaj policija ne mora niče sam razložiti. Pa mi povezati. Zdaj, v 15 minuti, se lifted the car and they took the catalytic converter and disappeared right in front of the shop and everything was on a camera and he said right next to the police station dra 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 zakaj policija ne more niče sam razdi pa mi povej zakaj he says that the police couldn't do anything and i said to him why is it the police cannot do and i tell him i is a young man i i he is he is a very good man this is not a racist, this is not a bigot, this is nothing wrong with this guy. This is a very nice young man. Um, does not have nothing against Roma people or anything like this. Exactly the opposite. This is a friend. I think, I believe this was his friend, the Roma guy. And then they both, they tried to help me. All these people here in Novo Mesto, a lot of people tried to help me out all the way to Roma community and Serbian community and all kinds of communities that try to help me out. And this guy, I think these are friends with the owner of the shop, with all these guys that they work together. I tell him because they are so they are so poor these Roma people. Okay, on why the police couldn't do anything. I tell him it's, they are so poor, they don't have for the bread, and it's why they have to do this kind of stuff. Uh, translated, if I translate this to you in a plain English, there is so much discrimination going against them in respect to employment that they are left with no choice other than to go and I don't know uh, either steal this catalytic converter or I don't know I'm not gonna say die out of hunger or be hungry simple as this completely disadvantage you know actually uh, we realized in Poland that even a theft they realized I did not when they were playing with these cars, when th with this stealing these things from the cars and so on, they realized that it's actually not so easy to steal things from the cars. That's actually the kind of profession that uh, is, in some cases, not even so well paid. Yes, it's 15 minutes, but the chances to get you are huge, and this Roma people that get them uh, sometimes, actually, they want to go to the jail because they get food and stuff like that. It's a crazy situation. So, this is why. You know, you know, the police officer might even know where this thing is. They might even know where your part for the car is, whatever it is. They might know. But the thing about it is that it's cheaper for the police, it's cheaper for the court, for the Slovenian taxpayers, literally, to leave your catalytic converter that was stolen away from you to them 
than to offer them a normal prosperity, a job, if you understand me. It's cheaper. They do it here like this. It's a discrimination. It's called discrimination. This is what I was trying to tell you, my friend. Even to steal something like a catalytic converter, it takes someone to work who wants to work. Yes or no? Yes. These people would be uh, rather doing jobs. They would rather have jobs. But this is the situation. He says he still does not have a driver's license. Uh, he said the coronavirus screwed me up. He says, and I am biking around with a bicycle. Yeah, right. <laughs> Okay, uh, it's basically where the two of us depart from one another and you will accredit me in this video for several things one for recognizing a gentleman as a mechanic from Ratish this was his vehicle he had this vehicle one time I don't know how he had one whether it was his brother or was he uh, this was the vehicle he promised me eventually at one point in time that will be like this and like this and like this but I it didn't come to me I didn't pay attention to this audio till I started to go about right now uh, eventually he talked about that I could even use one how could I possibly use this I don't know maybe maybe I would go to the police report this and that and maybe this th this thing would not be anywhere in a register or something like this and maybe the car could be even mine or something like that I have no idea uh, that's a very strong possibility uh, another thing I told you how he went to the school where he resided uh, how he completed the last two years at least uh, of the sky of the high school and well, that must have been then I'm going to say definitely already 2015, 2000, 2015. So that's five years ago. Somehow that's going to be a little bit. Yeah, but that's it. Five years ago, if he's 20, that he was 15. That's a second grade. Five years ago, there you have it. Uh, second, so then basically he completed his education probably in 2016 maybe for a mechanic so that was actually 2016 not 2017 uh, so that I was correct about 2015 I told you about how where he was who got him a place here in Novo who helped him out to get his education done 
who also keep him informed about this case. I want to thank this police officer who apparently retired, I think, in 2015, too. I think he retired in 2015, if not perhaps even in 2012. I think 2015, but it's possible even in 2012. He was like a lieutenant, something like this became, he got like a higher rank. Um, I identified his mom, his dad. His own dad, I think he was a mechanic. And that's pretty much good for me in respect to this. I don't have anything else I would add to this video other than I'm going to uh, record you here a time when this thing was recorded. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to one more time I'm going to play you over the whole the whole audio so you can hear this for yourself. Saturday, January 9, 2021. All other information you have. So I have, thanks to him, managed to identify quite a few things. Those for you that know about what happened to me in the Czech Republic in Poland in respect to the car. I have proven it today that kids alone, kids, he, he was a kid, he was a young kid, was, his mom passed away in 2012, N alone and new. No, it's thanks to the police officer, the kids had the access to, uh, to this thing and they started to see about what goes on, they realized what goes on. Uh, they alone learned about my case, about the bots, how I'm going to move from one to another. So, it's not about catalytic converter only. It's about knowing what, how the car is going to be sold to me, and literally about catalytic converter alone all these issues. What exactly am I going to go through? How my car is going to end up in a Czech Republic? That's why. That's why this video. No. Uh, his mom was not in a health that she would fade away like this. She had a good health. Uh, she had this problem with her health. She did. She always had this problem. But this was always it's like with the birth, as you're about to hear. Um, his father was extremely strong man. And definitely, before he could do something about it, you had these people, they tell you they're going to do certain things. And they do it. And the victim is pretty much defenseless. They are in a complete control of everything. So, that's that. Uh, before I'm going to turn this thing off, I'm going to give you one more time the whole recording so you can hear authenticity uh, in case you don't believe my translation you can do it for yourself and have the whole authenticity thanks very much for watching till next video the third person he mentioned how he died eventually that inspectorate would come issue him a penalty for his work illegal basically body shop that he would do the repair inside of his the, the old man the, the body shop repairman uh, who drink over the limit and on what the police 
waited him in front of his home, uh, tested him, took driver license away from him, and uh, whom afterwards they have found dead inside of the house. I don't know what you make out of that one. Uh, he also was involved in MK Ultra. That was just probably either prior my leaving to Poland or uh, when I already departed to Poland. So these are three people from this Ratish alone that are dead, but you're gonna hear and learn about other people as I promised you. And just as I titled the videos as Massacre, yeah, you're gonna hear this in the following video about other people what happened. People involved in MK Ultra. It's a whole a lot of more people that I recognize uh, that I recognized uh, upon people that I never should know of. From this very location, from Ratish, you know, from this location, from Ratish, that I have recognized, however, that were involved in my case during my absence from Slovenia. I have to inform you that even the girl, you're gonna hear all this stuff, it's incredible. From Ratish, Slovenian girl who wanted to marry me. Uh, she also lost both parents due to massacre. Uh, that people in this place, in Ratish, in Novomesto in general, they were so depressed. They were so depressed that she no longer wanted to live in Slovenia anywhere. She, I don't know, collected whatever she collected for her house. She packed her luggage, sit on a plane, and you're gonna hear me talking to a gentleman on the next video. She boarded a plane, literally for my Miami where I was, and purchased herself a house. I tell the gentleman, either in Fort Mayer's uh, or St. Petersburg area, Tampa, uh, I say, or maybe even Miami, as I meet him. She did, she did purchase one, from what I remember, somewhere in North Miami, and I was in Miami Beach. I think it was not a Miami Beach where she purchased the house, I think it was actually in North Miami where she purchased the house. She too was from this place here, from Aratash, if you want to know what's going to be on the next video. I did recognize her, because he does not tell where she went, but I tell him that she went to the Florida, and I first suspect, as I quickly I have to pull this out, as I have opportunity to talk to this gentleman, I point out Tampa, I point out St. Petersburg, um, actually Fort Myers in St. Petersburg, but then eventually it comes to me that no, 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 She's actually here from uh, North Miami. Trust me, I did not spoke to her. Uh, I did not spoke to anyone. I don't go to this place, to Ratesh. Uh, and so, that's exactly what it is. She moved to North Miami, literally, from Ratesh. This is the real story about Slovenia about the massacre of about invisible massacre that might have taken just as many people I'm not gonna say as many as the World War II did but this was nowhere far from it the people who a statue should be dedicated here to Slovenia the invisible war to, due to invisible war with the politicians, if you ask me, more than anybody else. I don't, I am not going to say with the Russian people, with the Serbian people, because this is not what I want, if you understand my point. This is not what I'm aiming at. This is not what I want. This is what we not must not become. But the politicians like this, whether you are a Serbian or you are a Russian, I am telling you right now, you're going to clean your 
whatever you want to call this uh, because it's not going to be tolerated this one thing I'm going to tell you I declare war on your politicians and you're going to clean your house you're going to have your house cleaned that I guarantee you her parents both of her parents massacred by the neighbor who promised he would go and kill them I recognize again both of them um, her and even a gentleman who gives me his account became poisoned as he got involved in this sometimes in 2005 we are not talking about cancer only we are talking also about the shootings and even neurological poisonings he had uh, some kind of problem with the nerves something you're about to hear stuff like that well this is why i titled this video as a massacre a massacre in so-called independent it's not it was not independent at all we were subject to the politics from ljubljana and ljubljana was a total subject to the politics from belgrade and i'm not sure who how when it comes to moscow um i am just gonna say vladimir putin that's all i'm gonna say but what is worse is other stuff we will be talking about We will be talking about also what brought Vladimir Putin to Slovenia like this. What made Vladimir Putin Vladimir Putin? This is also the stuff. Who made him? Who kept returning him back to Slovenia so more people would be dead? Who was the one who had done absolutely nothing to stop this but have instead even attempted to do something else through the people of Great Britain. This is, and Canada. This is the stuff we will be talking about. We're gonna go really, really deep into it. Thanks for watching this video. Till next time. Tu znaš kada sniče tega auta? Znači, to mi nije jasno, kada se na treći dena. Na zadnjem je brat rekao da je nekje parkiran u hosti, pa vidim, nagu se ga kakšni cigani, kolo brneze, ali pa te ne zatele. Ne, ne, romi ga nisem. Ta auta je iz... Da sem tega automobila. Mislim, da je iz rake želim da hvani. Znači, nisem ni tako rjel. Kako sem? Niti ni toliko zarostal. To je dobro auto, samo ko hodi. Sam... Ne, to je zdaj ni vredno nas. To ga je zjebo od zdaj, mislim. Tako da je. Svahar je ovo ni, ne, se bi sem videl vse. Zdaj je gotovo. Katalizator je šel dol. Neki hotel povedal ta auto. Ne pa tako škoda, da se tako še jedno. Morda ne, morda ne. Morda je dosegl svoje ta auto. Ja, sem najem dolga je v posto za nekaj. Drgač je zdaj ga mota ta auto. Kaj je bolj mene, ej. Kaj bo pa li je. To ta auto je kupil zdaj, ne vem, za nekaj 200 evro. Kaj je to je še še dobri automobili? Čista mašinca noč. Kaj je to pa auto je? To bi znaš še bilo na kolesiče. Ja se brat govoril mesec po pol dva nazaj. Ja. In pa čistale se katalo, vidim, da se ne lahko treba. 
No i na polskim się tyle gumy, tu za budowę za nich. Czy tu nie ty uredno jest? A, ale no, przepraszam. Ale je res, ale kaj je mal. Drugaš pa je res, pa je že ubijo. Če nekaj sajta. E, Renault je se manj stoko sreč. Renault je se. Ali včasih je bil tu super avto, se jo spomnim. En mehanik mislim, da je. En mehanik mislim, da je. Je to že prej na redu. Je to mechanik je? Uuu, zlata za. Pokojni zdaj. Ja, kot let. Uuu, vem, da te znam. Jej, jej, jej. Se pravi, pokojni zdaj, gospod. Ja, on je nam automobile nisto. Učekaj. On je bil zdan. On je delal svoje svoje stvari. Rato še bil zdan po njemu. Rato še nekaj dobro ga zgubil. Z njegovim odhodom. Vse je znam nabit, on je na redu avto, nov, pa za mehno ceno tu. Pa tako mislim, da se tu ni tam, ki ristejo, ne vem kaj, bla bla. Takle striče, ki bo zavito avto, ko kdor koli je. Iz starga automobila je nov avto, praktično lahko naredim, to za mehno narje. Ker ne mi bilo bolj do dela, mislim, malo je bilo tista stara šola, ki ni več tega, in če dali mom bo tega. Če dali mom bo tega. V veš včasih ni bilo avtomobilov, vidiš, ki sem vajšnjo, pa ki sem starejši. In vidiš, včasih ni bilo avtomobilov in So veti se svojem kočitko tisti zdaj in je človk mogel ga popraviti, če ga je hotel ali ne, ga je moral popraviti. In mehaniki, ki so tudi delali, dobro, eni so bili zanj kura. Eni so bili taki, recimo v družini tam iz Bele kraj nekaj malo je bil, recimo sin, ki se je naučil dočeta, Razumeš, ti zrihtal avto, da je bil tak, ko razumeš, ko nov. Ali tudi najebal za ceno tega, ki je delal. Zdravje, da je zrejemo. Ampak njegov oče, razumeš, je bil pa šimzer. Je bil pa, on je bil pa za star masek, ki je tež do velik. Razumeš, in on ti je znal to zek, 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 razumeš. Se mu ni bil tako, včasih, ko je bil mlad, je bil, pa se je pa naučil znal na hitreji. Veš. Ampak te majstri so znali, ne, oni so znali narediti avto, ne, če so pa hotli ga narediti, ti ga je naredil pa ko novega. Ti ga ne, te filme gledaš tam v Britaniji, pa tu bla bla bla, kurac, kurac, kaj znajo oni, nič ve. Te strički, tako? To je samo da pred kamero pokaže. Bullshit, pred kamero, na hitro neki hop hop. To, tle je pred nas te strički, ki pa ni več, če dali je manj, kakšen striček, če je še kje. 
ти за тия палата на редово не знам какво се давам, пък сега се става с къп котанка и ще бъде младшен като и за отпредните. А не бивам така. Бъдем учете и едно автомобиле по право. Па ще мърси към. Това съм? Има нещо реално. Ааа... Какво? Заеба се ве назад, не? Некият на инспекцията? Не. Това е пътил. И се ве пенца и грех пред това е да става. Пред хишо бе, пенца е става да опитат... Се ве заеба, бе. Заеба се да е. Това па не го изпиша антерни. Фак е. Това съм е чула в дело съм, а? Не хвърт скучата. Това е тако се рак. Мега срат, ей. In to, ja, tu mi res, tu mi se kar bolijo, ki si jih imel. Ma oni mogo dejavnosti prijaviti za tega, veš, ki on je tuk cenej delal, veš. Tu je en striček, vse veš. Zame osebno taki pizdari, kakor je ta država, kakor je sloviren, kako tu je. Lej, vinogradniki pizda še trt ne gojijo, več lej, raj kupujo vino tam na tisni koču, mu pohrijem tako naprej od nekje, ki ga delajo, razumeš. Ki ga, kurba, ki ga razumeš, ki spoh vino ni je, tako kot mleko je. Razumeš, ki ga avstrijsko mleko je zicenejš od našga. Kako pizda je tu možno je? Ko veš, da ni res, ne? To nikde ne bilo, pa tudi ne res. Plače so trikrat, štirkrat više tam. To ni res tudi. Veš, da nekako ga zmešajo skrb. Prhajo ti zdaj pa iz tovarn takih, ko tovar na zdravi kar kakih tu mleko ven. To spoh ne veš, ko ga je tam noti. Razumeš? In to je isto z vinom in isto s temi strejci pezda vsaj pusmo tu vesela najtvorita, kurac, najdela, najma kruhek. Najma neki vesele pa kruhe, ki je nastala leta. Razumeš, ki boljš, da ima neki, razumeš, ko pa da razumeš, da je avto, ne vem. Ne, na odpad, da se kupi nov Mercedes, ne vem, in tako naprej. Denar stran neče je tako dinjivo. Po pravič povedam. Žalostno je. Škoda, res, škoda. Ne, a tu je en drug mehanik, nam da. Če sem se spomnil, ki je neki majši tak. Tu je en gauner tak, majši. Šverci. Majster. Res? Uvaža. Ja, ja. Ja, men spoh. Ja. Ne, se je tole v zemi, je samo vin, številko. Pogledaj v računalnih, da ga je zadnji nejo. In pa tiste tiste, ki odgovarja za te stvari, to je vse, kar je. To je čisto vse, kar je, pa celi stvari. Je bil pa parkiran v hosti prav, te tale avto? V zadnjem je brat razlagal dva mesta nazaj, da je bil še na kolej v tih stanjih, te dva. Zdaj, če se ga dotle perinil. Zdaj, če se ga perinil. Zdaj, če se ga perinil. Zdaj, če se ga perinil. On je rekel, da je nekaj v hosti hor nad, nad vrta. Ker jaz sem videl, ker sem bil tale... Ja, pa verjetno je bilo decembra deset, da mislim, da je bilo. Ja. Ker sem videl, ja, tle je že parkiran pol, tam 18, ne, 17 dni, ne, da ne so 27. Je mu vse akumulator lučka noti žmigala, vse je bilo, se pravi, da nisem po mojem, so ga tle prepelali, ta avto, mislim, se je prepelal do tukaj, jaz mislim, da ga niso parini. Notri je bo tu čist, mislim, tako bom rekel, normalno je bilo vse. 
kui me näeme. Proba me pridet në pamën të kjesi pjetë, të si jes, të si, të si jes, 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 në rem, no? Të si jes rrate, zha? Po prim, ko ne, të ku pa vërjet, no? A ja? Kako pravite to, če sem ga sečajno poznal? Kaj, mislim... Če dete pa dobi sta še skriva, se nam in moja pa vedaj, da se pojma na te, vedaj. Zakaj je ta ona pokojna? Zdaj sem ga imela. Raka na spinovki, pa se pa skrinjene pa tomatske so zgodne, da se zadnje pa še srce. Ja, v moje se žali. V moje se žali. Oče je pa zvedi za cerovce. Ja, sve. Jaz sem bil tudi na nekaj obsojim, brez vezem, da tudi. Je pa čaka družba, tako malo Čudna družba je res. Ja, pa se tve krkašti, ceročen, pa. Jaz sem iz krke. Boš tja na oče. Tako, tako? Borec, ja. Tu sem še danes zicikal, ko sem imel čas. Tvoja mama pa ti je bilo kdaj bilo te dva tisač strižje. Ker tako mnoč gledaš, ti tako mnoč gledaš, jaz sem mislil, da si tam enik še tako mnoč, da prvi, ko sem te videl, si mi je tako 18 let skoraj zgledaš, tako si pa stari, 20. Ja, žal mi je, žal mi je za to. Se pravi, ti si bil v prvem letniku, pa ali tu je... Pa nisi, pa si glih končal, ne? Tu je pa tam pet let nazaj, ne? Petarska. 2015. Ampak zbolera je pa veliko prej. 2004. Petarska ni bilo. Ja, tvoj oče, tu je bilo pa, tu je bilo pa tam leta 2006, je bilo, ne? In tvoja mama je bila zelo lepa, ne? Ona je bila zelo, zelo lepa ženska, ne? Kako kar se jaz...
Bejhen shlok is mere o sega kriu. What shakuya? This makes an audible to him. Falta to get the definition of the Sergei Troy. Zato, ki so meni tam na češkem razbil in avto pokralo se katalizator, ki sem ga prodal na poljskem avtomobilu, kori, da ni bil gor, sem ga mogel sam kupiti in tako ki zarije politično povedal. Pa se tele mi postil, da bom videl to, to posliko, zelo tega. Zdaj pa mesto še posebej krade te katalizatorje. Katalizator, katalizator je tako, se zdaj nisel, da se ga dobiti tam na poljskem, eno stvar, na poljski dobro, da oni delajo, se ga dobiti tako cenej. Katalizator, veliko cenej, jaz se zadu bo, nisem, ni bil pocen, gleda še bil tukaj, kaj sem ga izkal, pa enostavno povedano ga ni bil. Druga stvar je pa ta, da te katalizatorje, ki kupiš, ki prodajajo, pa še zmeraj niso, Ne dosežaj tistih normativov, katere zahtevajo te državni kriteriji. In če se nekdo nekako spusti na teh, v teh delavnicah, kjer pač testere avtomobile, se veš, kaj delaš te emisije, pa ga lahko nega zajebejo tudi in tako naprej. Ah, drugač pa dragi so pa tako, da je, najbolj dragi so zaradi tega, ki je nekaj noter ena, platina je, ne? Ja. In tu je pa ta stvar, ki gre. Sicer pa so tudi dragi, če ta zga kupiš, ki ni original, pa če je nov. In ti smo v mojo primeru, da si smo katalizator gor. Ampak dobro, tu bomo še preživeli tako naprej. Najbolj mi je razumel, ki sem bil na šihtetno obršljeno. Ja. Zdravljenci, se si nekaj mehanik poplikamo. A si mehanik? Aha. In se nam, več, Merkur je zdraven, ne? Ja. In je bil delovec parkiran avto na našem parkingu. In mu je na našem parkingu sem v romi večer, ko je noč nadelal, pokrali se mi vzato. Zjutri pridemo na ših, on tam zlič mu nejasno, pravi, da je všelek, ko bi poklical. Tako pa je, evo, ki bi zato se bi pravi. In je bilo vse pod kamera, ajde, smo videli nekaj, ne? Sam policija ne more nič napraviti. Mogu kupiti malo katalizator, to je to. In vse je bilo pa pred kamerom. 15 minut so bili tam, po kamerom. Vidiš, vidiš, zdaj tim pa je vse eno stvar, zdaj tim pa je vse eno stvar razložil, lej. Zdaj tim pa je vse eno stvar. Zdaj se moraš pa vprašati, zakaj policija ne mora niče sam razložiti. Pa mi povej, zakaj. Tu ti bom dajal na dobro popotnico, da v zaživljanje. Zakaj? Povej. Zaradi tega, ker so tako bogi te romi, da za krh nimajo, pa morajo tako pizdarije delati. A veš zakaj? Zato. Ker če bi mednar, bi policaj prišli, pa bi jih zagrabil. Zdaj pa tako bogo, tako zajebano. In veš zakaj zajebano tako? Jih jebejo tam iz tistega zavoda za poslovanje, tam jih trgajo. In ljudje nimajo ničesar in tudi oni vej, da tam ne bojo ničesar naredili. Tam gre lahko samo človeka, da tnotr zapar, plačali bojo družbene račune, družba bojo plačala za to, to je pa vse. Za njih je cenej, če je šlo v kozuni, pa če nima, tudi če nima nič. Taka država je to. Vidiš, tako žalostni to. Tu si zapomen, bo vse ok. Ne ti se mi drža. Dobr kolumen. Zdaj, da sem zdaj kupil, ker nijem še izkita, me glih ta korona zajebala. Vse je najcenejši, ki jaz ne pa se nisem izjebano, da bi tudi polesno imel. Pa naj bo zdravi tudi. Koja, pa kolo, kaj pa nisem... Avto le je tudi, če ga imaš, 
ki bom popravit spovedal, da mi smo bili družba, ki smo bili obsedeni s temi avtomobili, vidiš. Avto je bil bolj pomemben kot, glede zrv tega, ki je bil, ki so bili stihički pa. In ga ni bilo, ga ni bilo, ga ni bilo, vsak je pa gledal tiste avtomobile in smo vsi blesnili na te avtomobile. In pol so dal nam možnost tu, kot te padne avtomobile, pač nove, kdor je modnar. In je prišel dejansko do tega, da so ljudje, ker treboški so zrasto, velikanski. Ker dejansko za tu tlele iz novega mesta, lej, upravit spovedano telo v nov mest, če si recimo, pa če delaš ali v Krki, v Revozi, ali kjer koli. Za delo ti bom povedal, razen če imaš nekakšno stisko in tako naprej, sploh avtomobila ne rabiš. Dejansko s kolesom ali pa peš, S tem, da če greš s koles in koliko stane benzin, koliko si prehraniš, pa se trebuška nima. Ampak avto je izmeri dobro med, če bi že kupil, ki je zdaj tale tam med dovolj dobro. Res, take avtomobili, ko so tudi dejansko denes, ki so, odpadni avtomobili so boljši od tistih, ki so bili tisti, ki smo imeli tisti. Znovu gledam, mladi preroštajo to, ko so tale. V dveh letih naprej je kakšna Kia nova, ali pa pa tako ga, ki na istem kot to. Lej, tak avto stane, lej, dobiš avto za enih 300 evrov ga dobiš, lej. In ti povem, če stran pukne do smeti, nisi zgubil nič. Če pa kupiš eno avtomobil, je pa un katalizator več vreden, ki so mi ga stizli, ko razumeš en avto, ko je bil tako lahko voziš. Drgač imaš pa bicikel, kaj ti pa palijo. Ja. Ti tako, če bo sena, bo moje to povedal. Ja, ne grem z biciklom, ker ne jaz sem prej, jaz sem tako, bolj vrši se to. In je blikšen, in je bilo tako, če bi izgleda bicikla, sem ne pa na seru, sem rekel 200 evro minimalno, sem rekel, rajem te nove za. Kaj še drug bicikl je zdal. Se je pa pravilno odločitev. In je brez veze bilo zdaj, da ga riha za tistih 200 evrov. Jaz ga ne bi sploh tudi bicikl na novega kupil. Še tudi ti povem. Zdaj, ko sem rabljen ga vzel. Rabljen ga. Koliko je pa bil? To je 10 evrov. To je pa super bicikl, mimo grade. A, pizda, na Polčin smo imeli bicikl na po 50 zlotov, tu je po 15 evrov. Pa se glih tako si se pripelo in glih tako je bilo vse. Jaz se lahko vsem želim bicikl, ampak vsem, ko bom tlel, kar te nič, ki hodim, pa se kule rinem noter di, da ne gre ven, da ne izsob. Je bilo hodil. Ne bo, ne bo bicikl na še tako kmal, ampak kamaš boš ga, ja, kamaš boš ga, zdaj si zdrav, ej, zdrav vstane, na hrtenico pa spet, ko zdrav je glavno da te ne bojo tu. Lepo se mej. Jaz upam, da se še sreče. Živjo, hvala. Živjo.